This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Bosch dishwasher. We're trying to just keep it running strong. These are some maintenance things you can do. You can just pick up this lower spray arm, just lift it straight up, and check these holes to make sure that there's nothing clogging them. These are called jets, and the water shoots out of these holes. There's some on the top, and there's some on the bottom. If there's anything there, you can pull it out with your fingers, or you can push it back in with something sharp and if it's clear you just push that back in here's the upper spray arm you're going to grab this little nut underneath it and turn it just a quarter turn either direction and then you can pull this arm off and then you pull out this little nut from the center and just check to see if there's any junk this one had some junk caught in it just pull that stuff out you can rinse it underneath the sink but these are just little pieces of food particles that get pushed it into the spray arms and they clog them. And the way that locks in is you push it back in and then it goes up and you do another quarter turn, it'll lock it in. So I found a couple more little things, I'm pulling them out to get rid of them. And some of them I'll just push in with this sharp implement and then I'll kind of shake the spray arm back and forth until they fall out the middle. So you don't want this stuff caught in there. So the bottom spray arm looked really good, but the top one had probably four of the ports or jets were clogged. Here's another one. I pushed it in, and then I'll bang it around and just let that thing fall out the big middle hole. So just keep messing with it until everything's out of there. You'll find little shards of glass and all kinds of things, seeds. And they're just things that somehow get past the filter and get pushed up by the circulation pump into these spray arms and then all of a sudden your dishwasher is not cleaning very well and maybe it's not even pushing water onto the detergent so you have some leftover detergent so we're going to put that spray arm back in now we're going to push it up in and give it a quarter turn either direction until it locks and you could maybe spin it just to make sure you got it there we go we're going to look at the filter next. We pull the basket out. We turn the filter about 90 degrees, pull it straight up, and some more junk fell out. <laughs> and then we got the bottom filter. We just pull that straight out. I separated these two, and then I'm going to rinse this one underneath the water to get rid of some of the junk. And if you have an old toothbrush, it'll work really good to clean the outside mesh filter. This one you can just use your fingers. Be careful too, sometimes there's little shards of broken wine glasses you don't want to get cut. So just kind of go slow as you do this, don't push in too hard. But dishwashers are all about water flow, so if they get clogged up, they just do not do well. So this should be done probably once a week, just check this filter. And here's the toothbrush just cleaning out all this junk. If you rinse your dishes prior to putting them in the dishwasher, you could probably do this once every other month. But if you've gotten in the habit of having a lot of food caught on the dishes when you put them in, I would do, I would do this once a week. And your dishes will clean a lot better. So we're gonna reassemble it. We're just gonna push these two together until they click. Got it. And before we put them back, I'm going to check the sump area. I'm going to use a turkey baster to get rid of all the water that's caught in there. It's normal for there to be water in the Bosch and Mila sumps. They're called wet sumps. So that's not bad. It's supposed to be there. But you want to get the water out and then check these little dams here to see if there's anything caught. In this case, I found a couple little seeds. And they impair the water flow when the machine's trying to drain. So I'm gonna put the filters back. Make sure you turn and lock the filter so the junk won't get pushed through the, into the circulation arms. Put it back together. And then here's something to check too. This is the air gap up by your kitchen sink. This is part of the drainage system on a lot of Bosch dishwashers. You lift up this cap and you might find some junk caught here. This will keep it from draining very well. So I found like a little fish bone. Pretty common. 
If your Bosch won't drain, this is the first thing I would check, this air gap, because very commonly they get they get junk caught in them and then your dishwasher can't drain. And if it can't drain, it won't do anything. It'll just, it'll just stop. I got this little brush I'm gonna push in on the outside chamber. And this one goes into the big black pipe that goes down to the garbage disposer. So we wanna just clear that out. Could even use an old uh, straightened coat hanger it would work really well too just to get any of the junk out of that tube. And with all these things done, your dishwasher is going to do great. It's going to, it's going to drain really well and drain fast, and it's going to spray really well. So thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe when you get a chance.